Hi, Andrew here with some more 223 gel testing. Today we're taking a look at Hornady's 73 grain critical defense FTX. Now, before we get started, it's important to note that Hornady's critical defense line tends to result in inadequate penetration. Remember that we need to get to at least 12 inches of penetration to reach vital organs in not the best circumstances. That's not just a standard that the FBI invented out of nowhere just for handgun rounds. The reason for that standard is that in gunfights, bullets often have to traverse through a forearm at an angle because somebody's pointing a weapon at you, or they strike the torso at an oblique angle. This is not an odd, one-off, one-in-a-million chance thing. This is something that happens regularly in gunfights, and, and the reason that the FBI came up with a standard is because they found, after examining lots and lots of gunshot victims from both officer-involved shootings and civilian shootings, that that sort of thing happens a lot. So the 12-inch standard is important, not just for handguns, but also for rifles, because the location of the bad guy's organs don't change just because you're using a different firearm. Now let's get out to the range and fire Hornady's 73 grain FTX critical defense through a one and seven twist, 10 and a half inch barreled ARFCOM upper into 10% calibrated ballistic gelatin. Hang on a second, what was that? It looks like a fragment hit the ground just below the table. All right, overall, this is pretty decent performance. There's lots of itty bitty fragments right here that may be difficult to see on video, but I'll see if I can get some photos for you that come well off of the main track and they start almost instantly. These tiny little guys separate by a good two inches between them. So about one inch from the primary track. There's some more fragments dropped along here. Total penetration, 13.6 inches. Temporary stretch cavity, six inches by four inches, and there's essentially no neck. Let's take a look at the projectile. There we go. Nice, eh, not quite uniform expansion. The jacket did stay connected to the core, although it doesn't look like it's remotely bonded. You can see a gap here between the lead and the copper. But pretty decent performance. Definitely a pass for home defense, out of this barrel length anyway. We'll get some better photographs and some measurements when we get home. Okay, first off, I want to thank Nathan Boer at Aimed Research for using the camera that we created that badass high-speed footage with. If you want to create similar high-speed footage like that, get in touch with Nathan. I'll put the contact information in the description. Now, on to the performance. Um, was the penetration adequate? Yes, it was. And that, that stands in contrast to Hornady's own gel testing with the 16-inch barrel. With the 16-inch barrel, they only got 10 inches of penetration, which is well below the FBI 12 inch recommended minimum penetration depth. Ideally, we wanna see 14 to 16 inches to ensure that we reliably get deeply enough to poke holes in vital organs to bring about incapacitation in the event that we fail to hit the central nervous system. So the reason we saw less penetration in Hornady's test than we did in this test is because Hornady used a 16 inch barrel and a 16 inch barrel produces more velocity. And more velocity produces more expansion and or fragmentation depending on the bullet design. In this case, we got more fragmentation and more expansion because the FTX does both. 
That means that there was less mass to push that bullet deeper into the gel block. It also means that there was more drag to pull back on the bullet and slow it down more quickly. It does mean a slightly larger wound channel, but penetration is more important than wound channel size. That means that if you're using a 10 and a half inch barrel at home defense distances, or if you were using a 16 inch barrel at 100 yards or so, give or take, then you should expect to see fairly decent terminal performance. But if you're using a 16 inch barrel at home defense distances, you're more likely to see that 10 inch Hornady published penetration depth, which is inadequate for defensive purposes. If your home defense rifle is a 14 and a half inch or 16 inch barrel, I would strongly recommend against using this for defensive purposes. Does that mean that this is garbage ammunition? No, of course not. It doesn't at all. It would be super good ammunition for hunting small game, coyotes, javelina, that sort of size, maybe those tiny little Texas deer. But it's probably not the best choice for defensive purposes. If you disagree with me, and I know that some of you will on this one, Leave a comment below. I love to hear your feedback, even when you're wrong. <laughs> Follow us over to the discussion on the forum. I'll put the link in the description. Let me know the sort of things that I can change to make these videos better and more suit your needs. And as always, have a great day.